The vascular system of plants has two transport tissues called xylem and phloem. Xylem transports water and minerals, while phloem transports a variety of dissolved substances, including sugars and amino acids, throughout the plant. Water in the xylem always moves up in the direction from the roots to the leaves. At the leaves, water evaporates. This evaporation, called transpiration, creates tension at the top of the water column in the xylem and causes water to be drawn upward from the roots. Unlike in the xylem, the solution in the phloem can flow up or down the plant. The direction depends on the concentration of solutes in the phloem. A model, called the pressure flow model, describes how sucrose concentrations determine the direction of the flow. Two types of cells, source cells and sink cells, play roles in the transport of solutions in the phloem. Source cells produce sucrose and load it into the phloem. Source cells are typically photosynthetic leaf cells, but they can also be other cell types. For example, root cells with large stores of carbohydrates can act as source cells by releasing these carbohydrates into the phloem. Sink cells are any cells that unload sucrose from the phloem. Sink cells are found throughout the plant, but are abundant in roots or developing fruits and shoot tips. Sink cells typically cannot meet their own needs for carbohydrates and must import them from the phloem. The fluid begins to flow when source cells pump sucrose into the phloem. As the concentration of sucrose in the phloem increases, water enters the sieve tubes by osmosis. The water enters from any surrounding tissues, such as the xylem, that have lower solute concentrations than the phloem. As water flows into the sieve tubes, the turgor pressure within the sieve tubes increases. This pressure forces the sugar solution through the sieve tubes to regions of lower pressure. The solution passes by sink cells, and these cells take up sucrose. As the sucrose concentration decreases, water flows by osmosis out of the phloem to regions of higher solute concentrations. The loss of water, in turn, decreases the pressure in the phloem and pulls fluid from other, higher pressure regions of the phloem.